what are those, Maddie? Oh, just my first donations to our food and toy collection that Student Council is hosting. Oh, that's right. I forgot. I'll have to make sure to get my items ready and bring them tomorrow. Thanks for the reminder. Any word on which grade level's winning? Mm, nope. I have no idea, actually. I will ask Mr. Freeman today, and we'll let all of you know. You all can bring canned goods, non-perishable food items, new toys, and drop them off at the front of the high school according to grade level. We will use all of these items to help families in need in our community at the Elgin Holiday Dinner. That's correct. The holiday din Elgin Holiday Dinner will be on December 21st from 5 to 8 p.m. in the Elgin High School cafeteria. This holiday season, the high school student council will be hosting a holiday dinner for those unable to host one with their families. If you or your family are interested in coming to the dinner, RSVP with Hannah Cummins, Tyler Green, or Mr. Freeman by this Friday, and we will reserve your requested number of seats for the dinner. Also, if you're interested in donating to the dinner, student council will be accepting donation in the front of the high school. Don't forget to get those impact aid forms into Ms. Watley in the library as soon as possible. Some of you turned them in, but she's still missing quite a few. Get those into Ms. Watley in the high school library. Attention seniors. Seniors, listen up. Voting for senior class personalities will take place today, Thursday, Dece and December 5th in your English classes. Any senior who does not take English here on campus will need to go by Ms. Janda's room today and vote. Seniors help spread the word. Remember to decorate those ornaments for the holiday reading tree in the library. Go by and grab an ornament, write down your favorite book and your name, and get it turned in back into the library so they can deck out the tree. There will be an art club meeting tomorrow at 8 o'clock a.m. in room 29. Also, Big Dan is looking for two to three students who are interested in training with him during basketball season. If you are interested, go see Big Dan in room 10 as soon as possible. The high school band Christmas concert this Sunday, December 8th at 2 p.m. in the Fine Arts Center is open to the public and free. If you haven't already, go by and pick up the form in the office if you are needing to take semester tests early. You must have it approved by Mr. Laura before you can take them early. Also, Ms. Knox is asking key club members who still need to order their t-shirt to do it now. Go by her classroom, number 35, and do this ASAP. In FFA news, the meat sales money is due no later than Thursday, December 19th. Get this in as soon as possible. The FFA Crack Tacky Christmas Party is on Tuesday, <laughs> December 17th at 6.30 p.m. in the Ag Building. We will have a business meeting, a tacky sweater contest, refreshments, and we will play Dirty Santa. There is a $5 match on the Dirty Santa gift and it needs to be wrapped. With the chance of possible ice and snow the next several days, be sure to watch KSWO Channel 7 News or www.kswo.com for all local closings, including any possible school closings. You can also visit www.lgps.org. <laughs> today, today for lunch, we're having hot dogs. Tomorrow for breakfast, we are having biscuits and gravy. And tomorrow for lunch, we're having some really good food. <laughs> it's going to be good. You'll see. Uh, juniors are selling candy bars, so go find them. Buy some. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Attention, <laughs> salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, <laughs> with liberty and justice for all. Please join me in the moment of silence. Thank you, and have a super, super, super awesome Thursday.